hello friends sorry for the delay in uploading this particular video so welcome once again to mathematics olympia class so we go straight to our question the last question we're supposed to treat so the question says if 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power y equals 15,750 and x plus y equals 9 find x and y so the first thing we do here is to make y so the subject of the formula that is to find y so finding that is we are finding y from x plus y equals 9 and that will give us y equals 9 minus x that is if you minus x from both sides then you get y equals 9 minus x so you take plus x to the other side then you get y equals 9 minus x now since we have gotten y to be 9 minus x we can plug it in wherever we see y in 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power y equals 15,750 so if we plug it in that will now give us 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power 9 minus x equals 15,750 so from here it follows that using the law of indices since we have 5 raised to power 9 minus x uh, we can simplify that into 5 raised to power 9 divided by 5 raised to power x because if you simplify 5 raised to power 9 divided by 5 raised to power x the division there we since they have the same base the division there we change to minus then we, we take one of the bases then we have 5 raised to power 9 minus 6 so we are trying to say that that 5 raised to power 9 minus 6 is the same thing as 5 raised to power 9 equals i mean divided by 5 raised to power x and if you say 5 raised to power 9 minus x equals 5 raised to power 9 divided by 5 raised to power x the division there can be changed to over so that means we now have 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x is the same thing as 5 raised to power 9 divided by 5 raised to power x so we have if you plug that one in now instead of 5 raised to power 9 minus x we plug in 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x so we have 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x equals 15,750 now if we multiply through by 5 raised to power x now what we have is 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x equals 5 raised to power x times 15,750 that means we are multiplying through by 5 raised to power x so we now have the 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power x the first part of part there if we use the law of exponents since they have the same base we take one of the bases and the multiplication there changes to addition in the power so we have 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power x will be we equal to 5 raised to power x plus x so also if you plug that one in now we have 5 raised to power x plus x plus 5 raised to power 9 because 5 raised to power x will have cancelled 5 raised to power x in that 5 raised to power 9 over 5 raised to power x so that's why we have 5 raised to power 9 left then equals 5 raised to power x times 15,750 So from here we have 
x plus x the exponent on first the first five there the base five there will give us two x so we have five raised to the power two x plus five raised to the power nine equals five raised to the power x times fifteen thousand seven fifty so if you collect the like times by rearranging the way of 5 raised to the power 2x minus 5 raised to the power x times 15,750 plus 5 raised to the power 9 equals 0. Now from here, since we have 5 raised to the power 2x, we can simplify that to 5 raised to the power x then raised to the power 2. We just factor out the two, or we just bring out the two, so that we can have five raised to the power x, and then raised to the power two. So it means five raised to the power two x equals five raised to the power x into bracket square. Now, what we are trying to do is to have five raised to the power x in common. Since we have five raised to the power x, uh, multiplying fifteen thousand seven fifty. So now let the 5 raised to the power x equals k. So we are going to, anywhere we see 5 raised to the power x, we are going to write k. So since we have 5 raised to the power x squared here, we put k as 5 raised to the power x. That means we have k squared. Then minus 5 raised to the power x again, we put k again. That is minus k. Then times 15,750 plus 5 raised to the power 9 equals zero by finding um, the factors of 15750 we we are going to arrive at two three three five 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 seven that is two in fifteen thousand seven fifty we give us seven thousand eight seventy five then 3 in 7875 will give us 2625. Then 3 in 2625 will give us 875. Then 5 in 875 will give us 175. Then 5 in 175 will give us 35. Then 5 in 35 will give us 7. 7 in 7 will give us 1. Those are the factors of 15,750. So now the equation we are having now is k square minus 15,750 k plus 5 raised to the power 9 equals 0. Now that's a kind of quadratic equation which we continue at the other page. So since we have a quadratic equation here, we can use a quadratic formula to solve it. So using quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a, where we have our a to be coefficient of k square, which is 1, and our b to be coefficient of uh, k, which is minus 15,750, and uh, c to be our constant, which is the 5 raised to power 9. So, the next thing we are going to do now is to plug in those values. So, in uh, we plug in those values in minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So, plugging in b first, we have minus minus 15,750. Two minus signs are clashing there. So, which we are going to multiply minus times minus, which will give us plus later. Then plus or minus, minus into bracket 15,750, close bracket squared, sorry, minus, open bracket, minus 15,750, close bracket squared. Then minus 4 times 1, times 5 raised to power 9, all in square root. Then all over 2 times 1. So that will give us, like I said the earlier, minus times minus will give us plus. That's why minus is no more appearing in the, that first 15,750. So minus times minus is plus. So we have 15,750 plus or minus square root of. If we have factored out, we have gotten the factors of 15,750. 
so we are going to bring them in instead of writing 15,750 so the factors of 15,750 are 2 times 3 squared times 5 cubed times 7 so we'll put everything in bracket then squared with the minus in front then minus 4 times 1 times 5 raised to the power 9 all over 2 times 1 now after plugging in the values we are going to simplify further so now if we open the bracket of that minus oh, sorry open bracket minus 2 times 3 squared times 5 cubed times 7 close bracket squared if you open the bracket and square everything what we have is 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 squared the minus there will be minus times minus plus two. so that is why the minus is no more appearing there because minus squared that is minus times minus will be plus so we don't have minus there again so we have 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 squared times 3 raised to power 4 that is 3 squared there the square times another square that's 3 raised to power 4 then 2 squared that is 2 raised to power 1 times 2 that's 2 raised to power 2 then times 5 raised to power 3 that's 3 times 2 that's 5 raised to power 6 then times 7 raised to power 2 the minus 4 times 1 times 5 raised to power 9 all in square root then all over 2 times 1 now since according to the law of exponents 5 raised to power 9 is equivalent to 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 3 if you simplify 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 3 taking one of the basis 5 you add 6 plus 3 it will give us 5 raised to power 9 back so but we are simplifying 5 raised to power 9 to 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 3 and 4 to 2 raised to power 2 so we plug in those ones now so we have 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 squared times 0 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power 6 times 7 squared minus 2 squared that's that 4 times 1 times 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 3 that 5 raised to power 6 times 5 raised to power 3 is representing the 5 raised to power 9 then all over 2 times 1 so from here we can since we have 2 raised to power 2 and 5 raised to power 6 in common we can factor them out so factoring them out we have k equals 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 squared times 5 raised to power 6 we have factored out 2 squared times 5 raised to power 6 now anywhere we see 2 squared and 5 raised to power 6 it will be 1 1 that will be the inside the bracket so we now have 2, two squared times 5 raised to power 6 into bracket 1 times 3 raised to power 4 times 1 again because 5 raised to power 6 and 5 raised to power 6 is 1 then times 7 raised to power 2 minus 1 times 1 that is 2 raised to power 2 and 3 raised to power 2 is 1 then times 1 again 5 raised to power 6 and 5 raised to power 6 is 1 then times 5 raised to power 3 all over 2 times 1 so we have k equals 15,750 plus or minus 2 squared times 5 raised to power 6 into bracket 3 raised to power 4 is 81 times 1 that's 81 then 7 raised to power 2 is 49 times 1 that's 49 minus 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 raised to power 3 will give us 5 raised to power 3 close the bracket all over 2 times 1 so we now have k equals 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 square times 5 raised to power 6 open bracket 81 times 49 minus 5 raised to power 3 close bracket all over 2 that is 2 times 1 is 2 so if we simplify further we have 15 k equals 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 square times 5 raised to power 6 81 times 49 minus 5 raised to power 3 will give us 3,844 
that's into bracket then all over 2 now if you find the find the square root of 3844 you get 62 so we are going to plug in 62 now for the square root of 3844 so we now have 15000 7 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 square times 5 raised to the power 6, then times 62 all over 2. It follows that 15,750 plus or minus square root of 2 square times 5 raised to the power 6 times 62 all over 2. Since the square root of 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 raised to the power 6, equals 2 times 5 raised to the power 3 that is square root of 2 raised to the power 2 the square root we cancel the square on 2 so we have 2 left and the square root we cancel out we divide 2 from 6 the power 6 then to remain power 3 so that is why 2 raised, the square root of 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 raised to the power 6 we give us 2 times 5 raised to the power 3 so we write down one now instead of 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 raised to the power 6 the square root we write 2 times 5 raised to the power 3 now that we have simplified so we have 15,750 plus or minus 2 times 5 raised to the power 3 times 62 all over 2 so if you factor out 2 now 2 in 15,750 will give us 7,875 since we are factoring out 2. Then plus or minus 5 raised to the power 3. The 2 after plus or minus there, we are factoring it out. So it was, that will give us 1. So that's why we didn't bother to write it again. So times, I mean plus or minus 5 raised to the power 3 times 62 all over 2. That is we now have... 2 times open bracket 7875 plus or minus 5 raised to the power 3 times 62 close bracket all over 2. So since the square root of 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 raised to the power 6 equals 2 raised to the power 2 times 1 over 2. So we have 2 times 1 over 2 as the power of 2 now. The 1 over 2 there is the square root. Then times 5 raised to the power 6 times 1 over 2. This a 5 now raised to the power 6 times 1 over 2. The 1 over 2 times 6 also. That 1 over 2 there is also the square root. So the 2 cancel 2 over that base 2. So we have 2 left times 6 in 2. 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. That's 5 raised to the power 3. So, so that means the square root of 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 raised to the power 6 equals 2 times 5 raised to the power 3. So if you plug it in, you have 15,750 plus or minus 2 times 5 raised to the power 3 times 62 all over 2. Factor out the 2. You used to, to divide 15,750, that will give us 7,875. Then, so we have 2 times 7,875 into bracket, 2 cancel the other 2 there. So, the, that second 2 after plus or minus is not appearing because we have factored out 2. Then, raised to, I mean, 5 plus or minus 5 raised to power 3 times 62 all over 2. So then we have, since we have factored out 2, 2 can cancel to the 2 numerator, cancels out the 2 denominator. So we have 7875 plus or minus 125, that is 5 raised to power 3, is 125, then times 62. So we now have 7875 plus or minus 7750. That is 125 times 62 will give us 7750. So our K now is 7875 plus 7750. That is K is now 15,625 or K equals 7,000 
875 minus 7750 k equals 125 we split it we split a plus or minus that's why we have two answers now since 5 raised to power x equals k and k equals 15,625 then we can equate 5 raised to power x equals 15,625 so if you simplify 15,625 then you have 5 raised to power 6 so 5 raised to power 6 is the same thing as 15,625 now if you equate 5 raised to power x to 5 raised to power 6 that is 5 raised to power x equals 5 raised to power 6 since they have the same base the base cancels out according to the law of exponent when you have x raised to power a equals x raised to power b the x cancels x we have a equals b so here we have x equals 6 that's the first value of x Now for the second value of x, 5 raised to power s equals 5 raised to power 3. That is 5 raised to power 3, there is the 125. We change the 125 to 5 raised to power 3 so that we can have the same base with 5 raised to power x. So now, since they have the same base, the base can cancel out and we can equate the power. So we have x equals 3 and that's the second value of x. Now for our next class, our exercise is going to be simplify open bracket 25 raised to power 4 over 10 raised to power 20, close the bracket, everything multiplied by 20 raised to power 10. So till we meet next class, my friends, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, the notification buttons and to share the videos with your friends. Thank you.